Wait, let me go. Hey, I'll just, I'll start here. What's up, everyone? How you doing? Welcome, welcome to It's Beer and Cheese Pairing Tuesday. <laughs> um, this is going to start out with the beer and beer, uh, cheese, uh, beer and cheese pairing. And then we're going to kind of rate it and do our thing. And then we're going to stop. And then I'm going to get back on and do another stream where we go and we, uh, we do, you know, we, uh, we have some fun. If you want to stick around, you can stick around. But for now, we're going to go ahead and do just some reviews here. And uh, we're going to pair some cheese that we bought and some beers. We were all talking earlier today and we got it all figured out. Kind of a last minute thing. But um, I got right now, I've got Bumpy Road Brewery. Did I say that right, Bumpy? Yes. Okay, just want to make sure. Bumpy Road Brewery, and we got Miscellaneous Magnets. Welcome, Thank guys. You everybody. Very awesome, guys, man. Appreciate you being here. Um, and I'm Beer Man. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, and we're going to go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll go ahead and start with, uh, we'll go around this way um, uh, and start with Bumpy Road. Bumpy, Bumpy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, the uh, the beer that I brought tonight is a Baltic Porter from Jack's Abbey Craft Loggers. Uh, this is their Framing Hammer, so it's their standard Baltic Porter. It comes in at ten percent ABV. It's uh, forty-five IBUs, and uh, Baltic Porters can be either ales or lagers. Since Jack's Abbey is strictly a lager brewery, this is a lager Baltic Porter. The cheese that I chose to uh, pair with this is a smoked Gouda. The wrapper of it is Boar's Head. And I can tell you when I was taking it out of the wrapper, it's got a lot of smokiness to it. Kind of actually remind me almost like a, of a Rausch beer, which is a smoked, smoked beer. So I'm going to crack into the uh, framing hammer. Give a quick little uh, note of what this one's like and then uh, see how well it does go with this cheese. All right, that's a full can. It's all in there. Uh, it's got a kind of mocha colored head, fairly tight bubbles, and a very dark brown body to it. It's a little bit of like kind of a caramel color at the at the uh, bottom ring when the light goes through the aromas a lot of the uh, the roasty malt notes a little bit of a uh, kind of a medium mild like chocolate and maybe a little tiny tiny hint of like a coffee note. The uh, taste of this first chair swig. Cheer first swig, cheers. There we go. Let's get this right, guys. Yeah, so it's got the, the chocolate notes in there. Uh, get the roasted barley coming up. mostly those notes and the flavors just uh kind of that mild chocolate roasted barley might be a little little tiny hint of like a dark fruit uh kind of on like the, the plum side um bitterness is there it's well balanced there does seem to be a sweetness at first with that that kind of chocolate note and it goes into a little bit of a bitterness so let's go ahead and uh, look at this cheese here so I already cut it up. Um, let's have the nice little coating or whatever. The uh, tail end of the cheese there looks nice. Smells very, very smoky. Smokiness actually doesn't come through in the flavor like it does in the in the aromas on the cheese. All 
I don't know. I'm thinking that the uh, Baltic Porter. Probably actually overtaking much of the uh, the cheese notes. The um, was it? There's that site they can kind of it kind of let you know what cheeses and, and stuff pair well with certain certain types of beers and uh, order and Gouda or. Uh, or something that was matched up well. Um, but I think the Baltic Porter being higher in ABV and uh, bitterness level on it being probably a bit higher because of the ABV as well, so they, they can amp it up a little bit more. I think it, it might be uh, overtaking the, uh, the Gouda a little bit. The Gouda tastes very good. Baltic Porter tastes very good. Um, but... I would search for probably a cheese that has more of a bite to actually pair it with with a Baltic Porter. That's that's what I got out of this right now. We can come back around. We can move on to next one. All right. Thanks, Bumpy. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, man. <laughs> All right. Now we got miscellaneous magnets up next. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Um, tonight, uh, I've got a peach double milkshake IPA. It's 9%. This is by Untitled Art um, out of Wanakee, Wisconsin. Um, this does not have the IBUs. It's a 9% uh, can date. Twelve, ten, nineteen. So this beer is not that old. Uh, for my cheese, I got some nice uh, mild Dill Havarti. Hard to see; it's a white cheese on the camera. So um, I don't know. We're gonna see how this works. It's a really creamy cheese, so I figured it would work with the milkshake with the uh, lactose. So let's pour her up. See what we got. Man, looks like nectar. Wow, I was not expecting that. It looks like the very, very hazy. This looks like definitely looks like orange juice. Got a nice little head there, one finger. Seems to be hanging in pretty good. I cannot see the bubbles. There's small, slow rising bubble coming up off of the bottom. Very white, silky head. So let's go ahead and smell it. This is very peach forward on the nose. Holy jeez. Wow. This smells like an Arizona. Like if you had a peach 99 cent Arizona can, it smells exactly like this. It's not boozy. Wow. Let's give it a, let's try it out. Wow, there's a lot going on in here. It's definitely very peach forward. Because I was on the fence, but this, this rich creaminess of the cheese with the peach it almost like melts in your mouth. It's really good. You get this like fondue type of thing going. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I would say um, go try this out. Get you some Dill Havarti, and uh, this this works. Um, the beer wise, for what it is, I would definitely give this a five out of five. I would I would buy this again for sure, hands down. So um, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and um, see what the beer man's got. Cheers. All right, cheers, miscellaneous. Thank you, man. Cheers. So Kip, keep sipping. Wants to come on uh, in a little bit. I, uh, I'm sure she'll uh, let us know. She has the link too, right? Or 
I did. Yeah, I sent it to uh, Craft Beer Force email. So, okay, awesome. sure she can get it off of that. If not, then I don't know if you want to put the link in the in the chat, me because then you can kind of just decide who comes in and who doesn't, anyways. But right, yeah. Just to let everyone know, this is kind of a more of a private private panel. Um, it was we kind of planned it earlier, um, but. Uh, uh, Keith Sippins uh, wants to come on. Uh, Bumpy talked to her earlier, so um, she, she'd really like to come up. So uh, we'll we'll figure that out. We'll pr I'll probably put the link up. But if you guys want to try and come on, I, I won't I won't let you up <laughs> unless you have beer and cheese. <laughs> How's that work? All right. Mm. But uh, all right, cool. Let's uh, let's do this. Hello. <clears throat> so I got one that's um, out of New York. I can't read it. I got to get the it's in real fine print. I'll just show you it first. But it's uh, it's called. It's a double IPA. It's a dip uh, DIPA. Superposition, free thought. It's got a cat with eyes and then no eyes. Um, I don't know if that's a drunk cat or something. Uh, but um, it's an eight percent ABV, and they're out of. Uh, Great South Bay Brewing, uh, Bayshore, New York, is what they say. I've been looking at this for a while. It was a $6.50 can. It doesn't have a date, and I've just been wanting to try it forever. So here we go. Oh, it's definitely hazy. Oh boy, that smells good. That smells real good. So we got about a three finger head. It's got a lot of orange, orange and tropical fruit, like almost even like a bubble gummy fruit, like a weird orange and I get a lot of orange. Whew, a lot of orange citrus. A little breadiness coming out through the malts. It's really good. More fruity though, more fruity, fruit forward. And orange citrus forward. It's just really nice. Um, got a, a bit of an off-white head. The lighting in here is really shitty. So, um, but off-white is what it looks like. The head retention looks fairly okay. It's a little soapy looking, also a little silky on the head. Um, I can't see any lacing or anything yet. It's an orange colored beer. It looks like orange juice. I can't see through it. It's very murky, swampy. Um, it's got a medium rising bubble with streams going up the side. Thank God I cleaned this glass good. Um, let's drink it. Oh my God. <laughs> it's <laughs> okay, man. It tastes like pineapple juice, grapefruit, and orange. All, the, but with a lot of sugar added, right? So you're getting this mixture this conglomeration of those fruits together with sugar it's very sweet um it's not strong it's not boozy it's got a dry kind of just a dry finish and it actually dries off as i always say 75 percent or 50 percent or 100 percent way down it's 75 so it gets right to your throat and starts to dry off it's, it's really not bad. It's got that punch of sweets, really smooth and creamy at first. The mouthfeel is, real, like I said, smooth and creamy. Uh, it's a medium body uh, as far as like the texture and the thickness. Um, I don't see anything floating around really in this light, but it's a very, very delicious beer. And for the sweetness and then to dry off like it does, that's perfect in my opinion. That it lets all that because if you, you know, if you take these down and they're too sweet down the throat, they start to get kind of uh, like you're having too much mayonnaise or something like you got to have something dry that off. In my opinion, um, I I really like this. I want to try this now. I got uh, blue cheese is something they said that goes well with IPAs as well as cheddar. Um, this is an, a 60 day aged Amish blue cheese. Um Sorry, I'm in my green screen thing. Uh, I'm, I'm, let's do it. <laughs> let's try it. You got some cut out. Mm. 
Whoa, man. Oh. All those flavors come out in the beer, but it brought on this crazy smokiness, almost a peatiness. I don't know that I liked it very much, to be honest. I'd rather have cheddar. You got that. Uh, miscellaneous was saying foot, <laughs> like footiness or whatever. Um, and you, it's not, yeah, I mean, yeah, you get kind of a funk. But there's, there's this smokiness in this cheese that really, it actually is pretty good. It tastes like it's been in like fooders or something or all oak aged or something. It's really, it's amazing what cheese does to the flavor of this. Uh, as well as wine, you know, we're obviously not doing wine now, but it, it's amazing what cheese, uh, as far as a pairing is, it's amazing. I want to try it with cheddar now. Very good. Man, let's, uh, yeah, let's, um, let's get into the scores now and we can, uh, and when, uh, if we're, we'll, we'll stick around and, um, and, uh, um, and we'll let, uh, we'll let keep sipping on if she's around, we'll get you up here. And we'll stick around. We'll talk about things, whatever, you know. So let's go ahead. Let's stick with Let's get back uh, to Bumpy and go to his score. So I'm not, as you guys probably figured out, cheese person. Like I, I like cheese, but I hardly venture too far out of, you know, trying to find different cheeses. So first time having Gouda, smoked Gouda. Um, it's, it's very Gouda. Um <laughs> What I've noticed, like when I was just eating the cheese by itself without having the beer, the smokiness does come through in the cheese. Um, so I'd want to say this would pair better with maybe like a Roush beer, like I said, something that just has a bit of smokiness already, or maybe like a smoked porter. Um, if you have just a regular Gouda, I don't know if they have regular Goudas that aren't smoked, but I don't know. But um, the Framinghammer Baltic Porter by itself. Uh, it's like a 90. I'm going to give this like a 94 out of 100. The cheese by itself, I'm going to say this is like a 98. I am. Um, I wish it had more bite, but the, the smoke uh, flavor that does come through by itself uh, is, is very pleasant and good. It's got a, I guess, a, like a creamy type mouthfeel to it. Other than that, it almost tastes like, like a very mild cheddar, a white, white American mild cheddar or something um without the smokiness the pairing of them together they don't these two just don't match like i said this like made this taste like almost nothing until i stopped drinking this for a while and was just eating the straight cheese so i don't think the baltic quarter and the smoked gouda go well together but i think the the smoked gouda would go well with a lesser a lesser quarter um, or something like a smoked quarter or just something that already has smokiness in it. That's going to enhance the smoke flavor. Cause I think the smoke flavor when it comes through on the cheese is fantastic. So I can't give them a score combined. I'm just going to give it an X nay, no nay. <laughs> Don't pair these two together. That's totally fine too. I was thinking no, and those are my <laughs> ratings. <laughs> Separate scores is cool. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Thanks, Bumpy. Right on. All right. Uh, yeah, like I said, this this is a very different beer for me. For definitely how strong it is and the, the drinkability. It's very, like I said, very peachy. When you taste it, it's not that real fake peachy. It's like almost biting into it. It's real juicy, full body nectar textured viscosity beer you know and um it worked really well with the cheese that i got surprisingly so um i like i said i won't score these together i am i already like dill havarti by itself and um like i said i would i would give this a five out of five this is a really good beer if you mm -hmm. could get it go try it and then um yeah score you some of this too get you some cheese and try Did it work I was very surprised because you get this like the the rich creaminess of the cheese. This is very sharp, not real sharp taste, but it goes good because you're getting the the savory with the sweet, and it works really well together. It's opposites attract sometimes. That's what they were saying. 
is up uh, sometimes the opposites attract with this it's really interesting uh, well, yeah, awesome. i'm um, ecstatic with the mix of these they work that's great that's awesome all right. All right. thanks man that's that's awesome dude <laughs> i gotta look up that cheese <laughs> that's i like deal a lot Bill Havarti, man it's it's good cheese like i we got a buddy of ours that drops it off i got the boar's head one it was like six I think it was yeah, like six dollars. It was like a block like that. Nice. Not cheap. All right. Cool, man. Um well thanks guys. Okay. Uh so like I was saying, this is a smooth, creamy. It's one of it's very smooth and creamy and, and silky in the mouth. Very nice, pleasant to drink, easy to drink. Um, like I said, it had the pineapple, the orange, and the grapefruit all mixed in one with the sweetness. Uh, dry finish, um, everything was good, and then all of a sudden I had this cheese, which is fine, but it changed it completely. It made it made it very smoky and a complete. Not that it was bad, but it made it different tasting. So it was really interesting to see how these mixed. I don't know that I liked it so much. I'm, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try ch cheddar next time, but the beer alone, I'm gonna give it a five. This is an amazing beer, five out of five hops. Um, the cheese, if you want me to rate it uh, alone, I would I would probably rate this uh, at a four out of five uh, cheeses. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, together, I won't rate it for sure. That, no way. I, I don't. I mean, you know, overall, it was good though. You know, um, not bad. So I don't, I don't like it so much. But <laughs> anyway, cool. Well, that was awesome. Did uh, did Trish ever uh, pop up? Is she? Um, let me see. Anywhere? Uh, hey, Captain Kirk, Cammy, how's it going? Chrysler, hey Google, what's up? Um, no, I don't see her. Bite and touch, enlightened cafe. Hopefully, she comes on. More than happy to to hang out and chill, and uh, you know, and then. Uh, Drink this beer down, man. Let's do it. Hopefully, she'll pop on. I still got a half a wheel of cheese left, and uh, hell yeah, <laughs> I think I know something that would probably go better with it. I've been drinking them today. I, I yeah. love that cheese that you got, Bumpy. Like, yeah, that, like I said, by, by itself, this it's a great cheese. I do like, um, I like sharp cheddar and stuff like that a lot. If I'm just gonna eat regular like just cheese yeah. or pepper jack cheese, which I think is just a cheddar cheese with. Represent yeah. right. some cheese. I don't know if there's pepper jack cheddar. But no, yeah. yeah, you take like that gouda man and you do like like a like a rodeo burger man with with some yeah. bacon, barbecue sauce, maybe onion ring on there. Jeez, man. That I really like the, the gouda. And if you don't like the smokiness, they actually have a non smoked gouda, which they is do. a lot more mild. Yeah, this was only fact. I was looking for the gouda to mix with a porter and uh that was the only gouda they had was a smoked one so it's like, like maybe a the smoked gouda might go good with like a like a barrel aged imperial or something one of those darker heavier but i also think cheddar might be a good road down that way too yeah we're gonna yeah, find I was, out. I was just thinking something that had a bit more of a of a boldness to the cheese because this this framing hammer just had too much of that like chocolate and roasted type malt coming through it just overpowered because I couldn't even taste the cheese when I first started eating it after the uh after drinking it after drinking the beer so I said it's I think it over overtook it and the, the smokiness didn't come through at all until multiple cheese bites later <laughs> yeah. this one gave me smoke right away dang it was like <laughs> crazy smoky blue cheese I've never had this kind of blue cheese before it's usually more 60 day Amish Blue cheese, huh? That's some good stuff. That shit was kind of spendy too, damn. Yeah, I bet it was. It was recycling money though. <laughs> yeah, I remember. You recycled, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got 14 bucks, man. <laughs> this is like this this beer smells way sweeter than it actually is. Like it smells like you know those peach gummy rangos that you get at like the corner store? Trolley yeah. makes them little yeah. peach rounds. This is like it smells exactly like that. Wow. 
Those milkshakes are delicious. I love milkshake IPAs, man. Yeah. I absolutely love them. They, they yeah, can get boozy sometimes. Some of them are. This is yeah. not boozy. This is dangerous. I would label this as dangerous. It tastes very good. Like hot day, any like go fishing or you're out at the beach and you have one of these, it's Johnny on the spot. It's just nice. light, it's refreshing. Like I said, the beer is a little heavy. He said nectar, like a nectar quality to it. It's definitely a different viscosity of beer. It's a lot thicker and rich, full, fuller body. Oh yeah, yeah, that's definitely what those are all about. I'm gonna have to. I gotta. I'm gonna have to try that one. <laughs> well, if you can't find it, uh, one of these is going in the box. <laughs> yeah. I, uh... I'm almost there, man. I keep tweaking. Oh, it's going to be a sweet box. <laughs> you the man, dude. Trying. <laughs> Cheers, Maybe it's just anything oh, in general. Did that Ex Novo the other day, too. That was a really good beer. Oh, yeah. You, you did. Absolutely delicious. I like that one. It was good. Yeah, that was – it was easy to drink. It wasn't too boozy and like it was in a way kind of dangerous. Like I say, you know, it, it just, uh, it's, it's so easy to drink down and sweet and nice that you don't understand that you're taking 12% into your body. It's like, Oh my God. And then all of a sudden your body gets warm and you're just like, Oh, <laughs> like you just to drinking this. It was going to the head very quick. Right. <laughs> Man, that's a more <laughs> Right on, Cammy. Cammy got moonshine. <laughs> Bring it up. No, oh, okay. <laughs> got some, but it's in a it's in a different county. <laughs> it's put away somewhere. Oh, put away. <laughs> yeah. I've had some once before. It was not bad at all. It's kind of strong. Jeez. Flacco, what's up, man? As strong as you decide to make it. I mean. Years, man. Nobody, nobody. I don't know. I mean, I, I do know people that drink Everclear and stuff, but you should not drink that. It's terrible for your guts. Oh yeah. Want to get an ulcer? That's the way to do it. Yep. Um, or at least break it down. Like I, I would drinkable. I usually like a, I like a hundred proof moonshine because when it's too strong and too boozy, you can't get the flavors. Because I know a lot of people that make a brandy, which is like a you. It's an alcohol made from fruits instead of corn because it takes corn to make moonshine. It's got to be at least 51% in your mash recipe to be considered moonshine. Oh, wow. If you were going to make, like I said, make a brandy, like oh, I'm just going to buy a case of bananas from Publix and sugar water bananas. That's called a brandy. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> And you Brand, brandies aren't that you normally done with like grapes. Um, you you can make it when well it depends on if you're making wine or you're making liquor. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you could make uh, banana banana wine. Banana wine sounds kind of good. That's what uh, oh, damn it, who was her name? Had had some last night. She was drinking some last night. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I remember that because uh, she was talking about how she was uh, stinking up the basement, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a very specific smell. Oh, shit. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, moonshine is supposed to be strong, Cammy. Um, last time I had a buddy of mine drink some, uh, he drank about. I think it was it was like 140 proof blueberry, and uh, he drank about a pint of that, and he woke up in jail. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Got a little too rowdy over here. My buddy had to take him home, and then uh, I guess he apparently passed out in his front yard, and the neighbors called the cops because they thought he was dead. Hmm. And uh, was it Drewski? No. no. <laughs> 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 no, but yeah, he uh, he got a bunch of shit for that, or a bunch of trouble. Sorry, excuse me. 
Um, it, was, it wasn't man. worth it. <laughs> <laughs> tried, man. I tried so no, hard. You can say bad words. All that time. Just not consecutively. <laughs> no. No, so you can't. George Carlin record on here. Over and over, and over again. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, I don't know. It's Like I said, there's there's times where you can have a jar of jet fuel laying around, some 160 proof. But jet fuel. I don't think you would. Uh, That's what you want to sip on every day. Like I said, it's terrible for your insides. Right. Yeah. Oh no, I can't. Not, like the humans are not made to drink alcohol that strong on a daily. Yeah, I had to like, uh, medicinal at that point. Like you take like a, a swig and it's like having a pain pill or something. If you, <laughs> that's how they used it back in the day. It had medicinal qualities, and there are actually states that let you brew enough for yourself within their regulations, and you're allowed to keep. You're not allowed to sell it. You're not allowed to travel with it, but you are allowed to have it. Mm. Add some 190 proof whiskey. Uh, yeah, I've had some of that. Much. It was, well, it was it was homemade, not by me, but it was sent to me. Um, it. See, I'm not a hard a hard uh, alcohol drinker, um, but it was it was palatable. Um, it burnt a lot. <laughs> if, if anybody you know sparked any type of. Uh, any kind of flame or anything, I probably would have blown up. But um, yeah, it, it had a decent, decent, smooth flavor to it, with a lot of burn. Yeah, that uh, I had peach, uh, peach filtered or whatever moonshine in uh, Georgia when I was living out there, and it was so, it was so strong, but you couldn't tell it was that strong. It was so smooth, and sweet, and, and peachy. And you're just like, and all of a sudden, me and him are we're drinking out of a gauntlet. Each of us had like half full, and we're just like, man. we were like way out of it, man. I, I, you get so drunk on that stuff. That's like crack of liquor, man. Yeah, it's unbonded liquor. Yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> so oh man. Oh, yeah, this Buddha is very filling. Yeah, that's a very rich, heavy cheese. There's a lot yeah, going not, on. Not light at all. <laughs> it's, not making, it's not making this uh, Molson Golden taste good either. It's kind of uh, bringing out some skunk notes, actually. Where oh, I, didn't God. This before. I didn't know what I was going to get. I was I didn't know if I wanted to lean towards like a Brie or a Gruyere. Or... I was going to get a cheddar. I like the Irish cheddar, that real tight, hard, sharp hard cheddar. Cheese, yeah. Oh, God, I love it. A salt like the is an IPA. Theory. Just not the ones that have mold on them. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's where I draw the line. Sorry. I think it's where the smoky came from on this. That mold. I had a bunch oh, of uh, I'm allergic to kind of pills, so I don't really try, try my luck with that kind of stuff. Mm. I do like the powder, like the outer part, that moldy outer crust part i like that on cheese that's really good on the blue cheeses and stuff i don't know i mean you don't you don't you said you don't like blue cheese so <laughs> i guess you, you like, like you like the part, uh, the part. you like that part of it um uh, the, mine, uh, like i said you can eat that there's nothing wrong with eating that um i i don't prefer it yeah i've been uh i've just been eating around it and throwing the rest off to the and side. actually the rind is actually the the more smokier part of the cheese because that's the most yeah. exposed. I love pepper jack too. Oh, that's like rubbery though. But yeah, they're not gonna like ch <laughs> choke down a whole chunk of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we can even bring we well we'll talk about yeah, this after when, we go, when we go off live. But yeah. I'll tell you about some things. Cool man. Pepper Jack is the bomb. Yeah, they had some spicy cheese there, but I didn't, I don't know. My wife got this jalapeno cheese the one time, and it lit me up. Like, I've eaten, like, spicy. I eat spicy stuff, and that cheese was too much. I don't know. It's like a loaded deck. Do they have the world's hottest cheese? Is there, like, one of those challenges out there? Because I know they have the chocolate bars. Yeah, the there is. Oh, I know some people like that. If you, um, 
I met him through my buddy Bounty by Obsession. Uh, everything's spicy. He does all kinds of them. There's a big community that does like a, the, the world's spiciest chocolate bars, and they do like hot sauce chugs and all kind of ridiculous things. Pepper eat ups. Nice. Yeah, the hotter the better. I, I, like I like hot stuff, man. Some of those beers, though, like them hot, you know, like like a good hot porter or stout or something like that. Something when it's got good heat in it, they're really hard to take down. Sometimes they they get a little burny in the in the throat, and it's really hard to. I made a porter one time, but I used the wrong peppers. Uh, what is it? What's the smoky ones? The Chipotle? No, the is it Chipotle? Chipotle is the smoky one. Yeah. Oh God, I put Chipotle peppers with the porter, and it tasted like perfume, and it was super hot. I was just like, oh, oh, God damn, I couldn't drink it. Give me heartburn. And <laughs> my brother-in-law loved them, so he took them. <laughs> and he drank them. I was like, hey, what was Have them all. <laughs> yeah, right? Well, you. You. If you want some, you got to take it all. Yeah. No, I make a, uh, I make a ghost smoke porter. Um, I use ghost, ghost peppers in it, dehydrated Ooh. ghost peppers. And I found out the perfect ratio – I do five gallon batches. So for a five gallon batch, three dehydrated ghost peppers is the perfect amount. Wow. Three. I wow. actually have a buddy of mine that grows hot peppers. I have some dried ghost peppers. I have some fresh frozen and I have some fresh in my refrigerator. I have uh he makes pickles. He makes it like we I buy I get them like cloths and five gallon cloths and buckets through where I work. He takes the ghost peppers and puts them in there, man, and they let them. Oh my god, so good! Mm. It's like you get that nice like dill. It's like I, I like Clawson because it's always refrigerated. It's a better quality pickle, in my opinion. <clears throat> but man, when you jazz it up, it just makes it so much better. I've also got some sweet pickle beets in the fridge too that are uh. sitting in there with some ghost peppers in them right now. They're pretty loud. Oh my god, that sounds good, dude. I've got some uh, my mother in law. Um she has her little gardens and stuff and she likes to she tinkers and stuff. She has her own jewelry shop too. She's online. Um but uh she she'll make these like little you know, jams and stuff, you know, put them in the mason jar and uh she made me a uh it was mango and pear jam with uh, habaneros in it. Let me tell you, that is just, it, it, it works so well. You spread that on some toast, or you put it on a cracker with some cream cheese. Nice. Like, wow. Great. Yeah, I'm waiting on a, I'm waiting on my buddies Carolina Reapers to come in. Oh the weather's God. been all over the place down here. I yeah, I want to make some, uh, I actually want to make some like pickled eggs, like hard-boiled eggs, and then take my brine, my pickle brine, and then just put the hard boiled eggs in there, make some spicy pickled eggs. Yum. Um, oh, that really sounds good. I like olives. Do you guys like green olives? I like olives. olives. I like I like olives. Uh, the only thing I don't like about olives is when you order like a Greek salad and they put the pitted olives in the damn salad and you're munching away and now you gotta spit the pits out of the olive. It's like, oh. come on now. Just ruining my experience. Now I gotta look like an idiot and start spitting. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't put stuff with pits on the side. Uh -uh. Broken teeth, man. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, I like the uh, I like the Italian ones. What are those? The red ones called? Uh, uh, oh, like, um, gosh, those are really tasty. Red olives. Huh? Are you talking about the little red fillings that they put in some of them? Not pimentos. Uh, no, like there's this, uh, there's a, an Italian, like grape looking um, olive that's very good when it's, well, I, I just like the the pitted ones. You know, they're really it's tasty. Probably like a black, it's probably like a black olive that's just not quite like aged or something. Possibly. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> they're so good though. Because I thought there was only black and green. I didn't know that there'd be other colors, but right. I could see like a, like a young black olive possibly have more of a red red I'm tint. Up right in there. Right. No, that makes sense though. I I think that would be good. I think that would be very good to put olives in with 
the cheese and the beer too. I might I actually like hard martini olives. Oh, the giant oh yeah, dude, yeah. those are delicious. Those are delicious. With the jalapeno or the blue cheese in it. Oh my god, it's delicious. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna drop a link, and this Go has on. all the Italian olives. But they uh, have I can't I can't even pronounce half of this stuff. Did so you say I, I, Italian olives? Yeah, I'm sure what Beer Man was talking about is on there. There's like Kalamato olives or something. You're Kalamato. about to drop a wappa. Yeah. Bamboo, what's going on, man? <laughs> Were they black olives? I wanted Bamboo to be part of this. I didn't hear from you. <laughs> Maybe next time. He said they were red, but... Red olives. Well, let me click back. I do, too. I love olives, Bamboo. Oh, yeah, dude. If, if, you, uh, if you Google search olive oil, it comes up. Kalamatas. Yeah, that's what they're called. They're called Kalamatas. Kalamatas. Oh, Kalamata. Sounds like something that's in my uh, the, the, Bud, the Budweiser uh, Clamatos. <laughs> right? Yep, it does, I, yep, I got it right here. You are correct. That's the Love stuff. Buffering. Is, are we buffering to anyone in the chat? I, I, it seems like my I have I'm connected to my Ethernet wire right now. I'm not buffering. I haven't yeah. seen any issues. Okay. Uh, I'm getting I'm getting older, so I'm debuffering. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> My joints are whew, gone now. I don't know what's going on. You turn a certain age, you just lose it. Yeah. Hey, no worries, Bamboo. He, uh, it was a very spontaneous thing that happened today. I don't know how I pulled it up after the evening I had last night. Yeah, we're going to plan it. We'll plan it for next week, Bamboo. Um I, I'll get with you in the next day or tonight or tomorrow or something like that uh, if you're not too busy and uh, maybe we can arrange it so you have more time to look for a beer and some cheese and, uh, and that goes for anyone else too. I, I actually, I actually uh, changed the whole theme tonight because I, uh, <laughs> I didn't I didn't read the email fully. And, but I um, love that it happened because it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> well, now we know. It's all right because all now beer does not go with your I like that. Bring any beer you want and, and pair any cheese you want with that beer and bring that cheese with you. We might do even olives if you want. So if you guys want to get involved with this and you want to be on this panel, I can send you an email when I set it up. I'll send you an email. We'll, we'll meet up 15, 20 minutes before on live. We'll talk about everything. We'll go live. We'll do our reviews, and then we'll jump off and we'll discuss the next week's uh, the next week's uh, show. So almost eleven here. Jesus! Wow, that's all right. I'm off Did you say olives or whatever? So you're not just gonna keep it to cheese and beer. You can you might move on to other. I'll probably stick with cheese, but if you if if anyone wanted to bring some olives, that's fine too. Um, I do want to kind of stick with the subject. Um, mm -hmm. Probably should do that um, just to keep it simple. Um, but yeah, cheese and beer sounds great. We, I mean, I, I was thinking about all this cheese and your beer, and you want to bring some olives with you. Nobody can tell you you can't snack on something. Yeah, bring what you want. You know, yeah, bring some pepperoni. You know, <laughs> yeah, <Some> crackers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I think cheese is fine, though. I think it should just be cheese. Cheese yeah. and beer. I think I'm gonna try to. I think I'm gonna try to do this in reverse. I'm gonna try to find a cheese I want to eat. I'm going to research the cheese since I don't know crap about cheese. Try to find out like what the flavors are and stuff. And then see what type of beer would pair with that cheese. So then I can go and look for the beer. You guys got to excuse right. me. I got to get a beer and uh, I got to have a smoke. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I did tonight was I just looked in my fridge and I was like, oh, I have this beer. Let me go find the cheese. Yeah. That works. Yeah. yeah I've never yeah. had this cheese before. <laughs> Get a bunch of cheeses until it tastes right. Right. <laughs> they because well, they said stouts go good with blue cheese. They also go with, with IPA. So I was like, okay, I'll just get a blue cheese in, and that just didn't. I don't know. I mean, it it was all right, but it wasn't the greatest. So yeah. I do want to find something that works, you know. Yeah, I, I really think like uh, with with this whole Gouda thing, 
Yeah, like a, a lighter. I can see because the Gouda works better with the Baltic Porter, even though the Baltic Porter overtook it, than it works with a lager. So there's just something about the cheese. I think I it, it it has to have like more of a sharpness or something than than like a regular like you know mild cheddar or something because right. like i said it's kind of making the skunkiness come out of this and i've been drinking these all day there hasn't been a skunky one yet and i can actually taste a, a skunkiness after eating the cheese with it what is that again i'm sorry molten oh like molten golden oh nice dude nice i can't get most in here you can't nah I can't. Yeah, I was just looking for I was looking for a cheap beer, uh, one that's lighter in ABV and stuff, because I've been just too many heavy, you know, obviously ten percent beer. You know, you drink these half the day and your nights don't end well. <laughs> next, your next morning's not fun anyways. <laughs> I'll be drinking all day tomorrow probably. <laughs> I had to work today, damn it. Yeah. I, I get to working though. I start cleaning. You know, I clean houses and I do maintenance. Today was a clean day, so I was just sitting in the house is cleaning. And I start thinking of ideas. I'm all, hmm. <laughs> Let me get a clan together and figure this out. <laughs> but uh, no, I definitely got to give it a week. That would be much, uh, much better. But this was fun. This is great. This is. This yeah. is it was fun on yours last night. I, I, I appreciate that. I, I just I thought it was cool. So. Thanks for having me on that last night. That was awesome. Oh, yeah, no, no problem. Yeah, it's um, you know, like I said, I'll keep that going as long as I feel like doing it. I guess if it's okay. Um, of course. Because you know, sometimes yeah. it's like extra work and it gets taxing, and you're just like, you know, screw this and we're going back to regular life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> but, right? uh, yeah. It's just I, I, I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go through different styles and push push people into getting different things maybe they're not used to getting i mean obviously we're going to run across everything so there's going to be stuff that's great there's going to be stuff that people have never had before unless you just can't find it you know what i mean there's some some beers out there you probably just can't find right have over those but uh, there definitely is yeah it's just <laughs> that's yeah, no, the the thing that you know? is very very interesting because just just reading reading that little thing that you sent me about pairing cheeses with beer and like i said i went out and got the oh got God. the uh, cheese that they said would pair well with God. order and it just doesn't quite uh doesn't quite work out in this case but right no that's uh well they say they say that you know like yeah what they said it didn't really work and um, they should maybe emphasize on um like what type what of kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly exactly uh, same with this though you know uh blue cheese and the ipa didn't go well really sort of but not really i would have rather yeah. had a sharp cheddar dude i have such yeah. a spread jeez okay. man you look like me the other day <laughs> my beers are all well, i don't know i usually do this when we do panel <laughs> i've got all kind of i've got sours i've got stouts i've got that's fantastic dude milk stouts i've got you're awesome, bro. So, what is that like? A is that like a package that you bring into the store and they give you a discount? No, they give me this box when uh, I go to the store because I buy singles until I find really good stuff, and then I buy packs. Yeah, the craft, the craft beer store I go to, they, they actually they instead of having like a membership card or something like that, they give you you get a a six pack, and every time you bring it in. You get five percent off of your purchases. Yeah, they say a total wine that I can get like yeah. points or whatever where I go shop at. That seems like a lot of hassle. Sometimes I don't go there. Sometimes I go to my other buddy, and he's got stuff that they don't have. Yeah. So I'm trying to trying to get up. I actually talked to the manager today at the place, and he uh, actually seemed like he knew what he was talking about when it came to some of these beers that I bought. So. Um, yeah. You, can order, you yeah. can order on the phone here with this one? Um, I just went on uh, my, like as I said, we have Total Wines, one of the bigger stores down here. Liquor store. Oh, okay. And um, I just went on there and I could browse whatever, everything that they have. And I could say, well, I want this. And you buy it and they get it and it's sitting on the counter when you get there to go pick it up. That's awesome, man. 
That's Ash. Absolutely cool. Right on. So that's like what it said. You said milk, milk stout or uh, milk milkshake IPA. I'm like, well, huh. I literally huh. searched that on the store, and one beer came up, and that's they have like a thousand beers there. They're all over the place here. I think that's why I said it. I was like, hey, let's just do it. Everyone's gonna have them, but no, they're. I think they're more dominant on the West Coast. Hot commodity. And the cool thing about this total wine is if, if I make a large beer. enough purchase, like um, I can actually like order beer from another store and have it shipped to my local store. Wow. And they don't have it. That's nice. So then I could go pick it up. And they said, I think it was if you do like a $200 order or more that you can actually get home delivery. Wow, man. That's, that's pretty, neat. That's dude. pretty dope. I thought that it was is. cool. That is. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Well, we're gonna have a party tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna be going down. Down. My, uh, Yeah, I've got a nice Brett Triple in here too. That thing is awesome. It's not a it's a sour, but it's not a goza. I'm really getting into these sours. The go, you know, the goes is the goose or whatever the lambic yeah. and all these all these sours. The uh, the uh, what's the other one? The Berliner Weiss. I, I like those as well. Um, yeah. I like how the Americans are really putting their you know putting a lot of into these. Uh, like the Berliner Weisses have gotten really big lately. It seems the flavorings are putting into them. The hops, the this is and the that's. You know, it's like it's crazy. It's not just Germany anymore. It's not just uh, Belgium anymore. It's fucking America or Canada or all these places like doing things with these things oh wow dude that's so then you have you have like you get into these ones um which i don't know exactly what style sour this one falls under you see if it says it on the back but you have the, these ones like that you know, all the different fruits and different flavors like you have the key lime pie stuff that they put out awesome. and those are those are great but this is uh i just want to see if this is based off of berliner weiss or I'm in Florida too. I'm surprised I haven't seen a key lime sour. Lime, yum. But, you know, you'd figure they'd have stuff like that down here to sell to the tourists. Right. Yeah. This uh, this doesn't say what type of sour it would be, but it's a fruitcake inspired sour ale, and it's uh, six point two percent ABV. So fruitcake. Wow. Um, but okay. these are for I I picked a bunch of these up for people to send out to them. So. I can't drink it, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, those um, beer man. When I was telling you, I drank that that uh, wicked weed, the the Functorium. I think that was falls under that Lambit category because it was a fermented berry thing, and it was very whiny, and I just it, it, I wasn't yeah. wasn't ready for it. And I really didn't didn't care for it too much. Huh. Mis miscellaneous. Do you do you get two roads in your in uh, your area? Two, um, I, you know what? I can't honestly say that I've seen it, and I've been in the beer store a lot lately. I have not seen that can. Oh, I love that yeah. can. I'm not, I'm not big on two roads. Like, there's tons of two road stuff I just don't care for. Every now and then they have something that comes out that's like decent. This is excellent. Two, two kila, barrel aged lime goza. This is an awesome beer. This, this was actually nice this was given to me. Uh, that looks so fucking good. That label looks so nice, dude. It sells it. Yeah. I don't know what the oh seven point five percent ABV. Seven five, yeah. nice, this dude. Was, this was great. Oh my gosh. Really? New Jersey, yo. <laughs> yeah, I got um. I actually got a hold of a um. Anderson seven Valley. Engine down here and my buddy said that this particular one was harder to get oh shit sorry i'm on bumpy <laughs> and um beer man said they got this all all over the place up there oh shit let me see here this yep the watermelon one and this one was phenomenal they have two different styles at the store that i go to but they only sell it by the pack mm. i mean i've seen people like take cans off of the four pack and then they go ring it up individual i don't know I don't. I don't like being that guy. To break yeah. the pack. Like yeah, that, um, I hate that when people. I hate it when you go in a grocery store and you see some dumbass 
in there and he's he's like looking around he's like mixing them up you know i don't know if you guys are, I, I might have just called you guys a dumbass if you do that but uh <laughs> but i'm like damn it because i go in and i'm like trying to get a six pack for say my wife or something and she likes a certain kind and all of a sudden there's an ipa in there and there's this and so every time i go i look i'm all i'll pick up each six of them and then make sure you know but I'm not, you're not dumbasses. I just, uh, no, no, I've heard, I've heard of, uh, people that have gone in, you know, some, some of the stores have like the, the make your own six pack and, and they, you know, they know that the person at the register might not know because they're just whatever teenager working their, their low wage job. And, you know, so they just go in, they take the mixed six, which you're supposed to choose from whatever they have on the shelves, but they'll go through and just pick out stuff that's like, the regular not mix six stuff and put it in a mix six pack and then right and you're hoping it. that the <laughs> checkout person doesn't see it. <laughs> why is the bottle shorter than the other one and why does it have a red cap and then there's a green cap what is going on here <laughs> and you're hoping they don't see it yeah they just scan they just scan the box and yeah there you go there's your 9.99 imperials that you just picked up they got now. They got to put locks on them or something. Yeah. <laughs> Little zappers. This, this is it. <laughs> don't touch this until you buy it. I I don't do that myself. I'm full of integrity and uh, what's the other the other word? Paranoia. Integrity and paranoia. <laughs> they they keep me honest. <laughs> right. Definitely. No. I I the same. I the same. Yeah. I'm I'm a very honest guy. I really am. I I like to make friends and be friendly with people and be honest. And I was a Boy Scout for crying out loud and raised in a good family. So, yeah. Well, cool, man. So, uh, is uh, do you think Kip Sippin will come on or? If no, she I'm hasn't made it on yet, yeah. was the link ever dropped in the chat? Did you ever drop it in the chat? I didn't drop it. Um, I wasn't sure if she. Yeah, had she might have been waiting for that. I don't know. Like I said, I sent the email to Crap Air Force. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I, I figured that he could have sent it to to Trish to get on. But who what? knows if he went right. to bed and didn't share it. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> no, that's fine. Well, if anything, we can drop. You know, we can drop this. Um, and, and next time, I'd like to have her, um, both of them on, um, and anyone yeah. else. And like, you know, like I'm saying here live, uh, I'll just tell everyone uh, again, uh, if you guys want to participate in this, uh, yeah, and, and put some cheese of your choice, oh. it doesn't have to be what it's supposed to go with. It can be of choice. And let me know. Uh, we'll try to get this five days in advance so it's planned out. And you're ready to go, and I'll, I'll give you a link, and we'll uh, we'll do it. This is only email invite only, so 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 it's gonna be it's gonna be just um, it's not gonna be like a set beer style. It's gonna be it's gonna be wild. I'm gonna keep it wild in the open. Okay. That way, that way, it's easier to for everyone to find uh, whatever okay. they want. Um, that works because I'm definitely not gonna pair uh, smoked gouda with a Baltic porter again. So. <laughs> Well, there you go. <laughs> we learned something tonight. <laughs> well, you know, we're all, we're all going to be masters. We're going to get our cicerones and. Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. No. Um... Yeah, no. This is that that trifle I was talking about. But yeah, I saw that in your fridge in the picture you sent yeah. me. Nine ninety five. Victory. They have a new one. Now. I've, uh, I went down the, the aisle and they had about four different ones and I bought them all and I, this this was the best one. They actually make a white version of this, which is aged in Pinot Grigio or Pinot, Pinot Noir barrels. Wow. And it's, a, it, it's expensive. I looked at it and I'm like, oh, I don't think I'm going to pay for that. Yeah, Jeez. there was one. It's like a $30 I don't know. bomber. I saw it. Let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up because I love the um, I like the victory. The their their monk uh, is it uh, is it just monkey golden golden monkey, which is it's their tripel, 
And so right. the sour monkey is based off the trapel, but it's been like soured and oak aged and all that stuff. Awesome. Yeah, Dude, yeah the sour monkey is so much better than the <laughs> the golden monkey. Bumpy taught taught me a lot about the tripels, the quadrupels, the duples. I mean, you you mentioned stuff. I was like, oh, I gotta look that up now. <laughs> so now I'm like learning. I've learned so much about those, and it's, <laughs> I want to get more of them and more of them. I love them. Victory had one. It was more. It was like a it had like a banana banana type thing to it, and it didn't. It didn't. It didn't work. I I didn't care for it personally. Um, I did have a, a, a banana style beer. Um, you, you're probably talking about the gold, the golden monkey, because that's yeah. the the trapels can be very uh, banana forward, or they can be very clove. They're it's almost like a, very like a, tricky. A, you know, a there's a lot going on. <laughs> but this, I like this. This the only thing that I don't like about this is that it's nine five, because this oh, is wow. a dangerous one too. I mean, it's so light and crisp and smooth and everything that you want in a sour. It's not. It's tart. And it's it's juicy. Yeah, that's the golden monkey. Yeah, we got that down here. Right, I think I've seen that too. And you got the sour monkey. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah, you got. got. There's a couple. Oh, more. this is. I think this is the one I saw in the stores. The twisted monkey. Jeez, man! Did not see that one. Oh, that was awesome. They might have that in in the packs. I was. What's the twisted monkey? The Belgian style blonde ale. It's five point eight percent with mango. Yum, man! That sounds really good. Yeah, so it's a, so it's a single versus being a, a trapel that's been right. And they're all they're all in the in the way that the doubles the, the doubles are the and the trapels and the quadrupels. They're all they're all varied off by their ABVs, right? And then their colors and their their the kind of grains that are used as far as their grist and. Everything else is using the brewing process, yeast-wise. Um, they're all using uh, Belgian yeast, of course, right? Is there different yeast they use that make uh, them, or do they use the same yeast for all of them, the same attenuation and flocculation rates? I mean, how are they, uh, as far as eating the sugars and stuff, are they all different? or That um, I don't this, really know. This is uh, The malt is a Pilsner, and the hops is Tenang. It says it right here on the side of the can. Oh, Tenanger? Tenanger? Yeah, yeah. What I can do is go to Yeast Labs and then right. search for certain beers. Um, hey, good evening, Scratchy Lotto. How are you doing? Cheers, man. We're going to get off here soon and uh, and get into a more rowdy uh, bunch. Yeah, I think it's about <laughs> time for me to fire off my torch. Right, me too. <laughs> but I, wanna, I wanted to say... Uh, um, 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 shit, what was I thinking? Keep sipping. Um, if you if you don't show up before we leave here, um, and if you do show up last minute, you're totally welcome. I want you to be here. So, um, and that'd be great to have you here. Um, but for uh, the next Tuesday, we'll go ahead and uh, plan for that. So I'd love to have you here for that, and I'd love to have anyone else that would like to bring beer and cheese up. Uh, of course, a craft beer, uh, not just a Budweiser or this that commercial wise. Let's go get a a real craft beer and let's mix it well look online for cheeses to pair with that beer and and bring it up bring it up to the plate and give me your uh, your email and i'll send you the link when it's time we'll go about 15 20 maybe even 30 minutes prior so we can get a little buzz and chilly before we get on um so uh, sun city what's up man middle for what's up all right mm -hmm. man cheers we're gonna have a fun party here in a second but um just mm -hmm. kind of doing my last here um we're gonna jump off and talk uh, for a, a moment about the next week um offline but once that's done i'm going to go ahead and set up another uh, live and we'll have a little party stream here so um uh, much love to you guys what you well, what's that bumpy just going through like the yeast um laboratories they do have a few different styles of belgian yeast um i think like the first one i went through pretty much covers all the belgian styles it says it works well but they do have different strains so I do think they probably they probably pick and choose like one that would work best with a different type of a Belgian brew, right? Since there are multiple strains, otherwise it'd be one strain pretty much, right? Right. Why have multiples if one works for everything? 
The more you know. Certainly, like I imagine, like to get a certain percentage on a certain style, you'd have a different, like the way the yeast eats, it would eat yeah. differently yeah. as far as yeah, yeah. Some of them give off different, and different and notes. Like some, some of them are more estery, yeah. some of them more clovey, and stuff like sure. that. So totally, totally. Yeah, I know that some different temperature gets, gets too boozy. If the alcohol gets read. too strong, I know it can kill the yeast. Right. Things like that. Totally, man. Yep. They 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 make them for I I did, like I said I've done right. some yeast shopping before, and uh, they, the the market is huge. They have all kind of stuff you can buy. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's and my new reminder. That's how I'm gonna do it from now on. It works. That's good. <laughs> it does work, dude. See, I'm showing my man boobs. <laughs> hey, mine are mine are hanging, dude. You know, I got like, I got like, I got a, my belly's gotten big, dude, since I've been doing these live streams, man. I can still do that though. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, so uh, what's our favorite beers? Let's go over that real quick, and then we'll get off of here, and I'll start a new stream. What's our favorite beers? Bumpy, what's your favorite style of beer, your favorite category? What's what's one that you go to the most every night besides a light one? Or a... I, really, I really do not have a favorite. One that I've been kind of favoring a lot lately but I've had to step back from has been the sours. So, like I used to really favor – um like the ipas um stuff like that mostly going towards the new england ipas but after like a few years of drinking a ton of those started to get tiresome of it um and i last uh when last summer was coming around i said this is going to be the summer of uh, sours i think because you started I, I at least i started noticing almost every brewery just like when the new england ipas the hazy ipas and stuff started coming out everybody had to have one well it seems like almost every single brewery had to have some type of sour, you know, mm -hmm. um, on the shelf. So uh, I, I drank a ton of sours this past summer, and, and really I think I appreciated them more um, than I have the IPAs lately. Problem is I have an acid reflux problem, and when I get to drinking a ton of sours, um, I get in some pain. So right, uh, I've had to uh, kind of cut back on drinking sours. But, I mean, I, I appreciate pretty much every every style. Um, one style that I, I haven't really had because it's not around much, uh, is the Grand Cru, which, which oh. I've, I've really liked. So that's, that's a, like a Belgian French type. I've heard of that. Yeah. I think I might've even seen that. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all to do with the, like, um, like the way they, they age it and stuff. <laughs> Look so. at Paul's answer. <laughs> That's all right. I, I'm about to say the same thing when I answer it. Yeah. <laughs> well, miscellaneous, what's your favorite style, man? What's your favorite uh, category of beer? Thing you me, like to... I, I like the stouts, man. It's it's really hard for me to get away from it because I like a nice, thick, rich, full beer. Um, I, I tend to like a higher APV. I'd rather sit down and have three beers that are going to get me in the mood then sit down and drink a case of beer. But mm -hmm. uh, recently, I've, like I said, I've been doing like mixed bags. You know, I get try and get a, a one, one or two of each kind. That way, if I can go from a stout and then have a sour and like cleanse my palate, and because it can get muddied up real quick. All right. The 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 only, like I said, the only beer that I've come across that I did not like was the fermented sour. And I tried two of them, and I just really didn't care for them. They had a vinegar quality. Other than that, I'm very optimistic. Right. Because you no, never know. You could, it could be the crappiest looking can, and it could sound terrible, and you drink it, and it could be the best beer you ever had. Or you could uh -huh. get some big, nice, flat, flashy can art, and it costs an arm and a leg, and then you have it, and it tastes like crap. Crap. Right. So, I know. I hate that. There's there's one style I have not been able to, and it's a mixture between two of the styles that I basically said that I really like. I like all styles, like stouts and stuff. Porters love them. I, I brew them. I actually have an imperial stout in my keg that I brewed. Nice for dish. Um, but it was uh, I have not found 
a sour IPA that I have found palatable. Huh. Wow. Something with like the bitterness, the bitterness and the uh, the sour just does not work for my palate. Huh. That's that kind of makes sense. I mean, you're going, you're getting pulled two directions at the same time. Is it this or yeah. is it that? Right. You can't uh, muddied up. I would think good, probably <laughs> a good idea on paper, but can be poorly executed. I would think. Yeah. Because you, when you have a sour, you're not getting a lot of IBUs. It's a very yeah. Usually IBU. sours are lower in IBUs. So. Gonna, you, uh, I don't. I don't know. I think it's a terrible idea <laughs> unless somebody pulls it off properly. Yeah. So so they far, my palate has said it's a terrible idea. But yeah, there are there are some out there. Um, the Bear Patrol, he has found so many sour IPAs that he says are great, and I'm just like, Bear Patrol, yeah, yeah, that guys, you great. make it sound so good. <laughs> and I go find one. I'm not drinking the same ones as him, but damn, the ones I've had are just like, uh. right? They can't all be hard to handle. <laughs> they can't do it. It's like, but it doesn't taste like a beer. <laughs> but mine are IPA. I like IPAs. I go home to an IPA. I everything is about an IPA in my head. I know everyone likes IPAs and everyone drinks IPAs, oh. but it's all I like. It's what I like. Um, I like oh. a pale, but I also like a Kolsch. I also like a good Pilsner. A nice unfiltered. Like I like I like the unfiltration of beers. I like I like the 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 grittiness, the texture in a beer, and some of the clean, brilliant colored beer, uh, clarity of beers is nice too. A nice filtered beer is really good. A nice filtered pilsner or Kolsch. Um, I don't know. They're they're just they're they're good for the summer. They're good for uh, lawn mowing beers. They're good uh, when you're sweating, just worked out, whatever. They're great for that, you know. And they're also good for uh, sushing. You know, having them during a session like this so you can last and not get dizzy and fall off your fucking chair like me. Um, That's right, it, you, I didn't fall out of my chair. I got a little rowdy, but I don't know what I'm saying. You got to watch out for this guy who's going to get around. Well, at least he's got his hat on, so if he oh, falls yeah. over, he's got to bring you had to him down. Double haze is delicious. I love yeah, it. I was getting after it last night. So, yeah, this is me before uh, – I, I like having you on your strong beers. <laughs> All right. I went back and watched, and I was like, uh, it, it was a long night. Yeah. I like went to bed at like 2 30, ate a big thing of baked CD. I like woke up in the morning. Did you? Yeah. No, before I went to bed at like 2 30 in the morning, I had like a whole to go box full of baked CD with Italian sausage, red sauce, like meat sauce. And, um, man, I was like noon today. I'm like burping and I could still taste it. I'm like, man, I went to bed really late last night. Yeah. Wait, wake up about three hours of sleep. Yeah, I think it said like four hours and change. I've been like running that lately. It's not good. Yeah. Burning yeah. I, I woke up, I woke up like at seven 30 after going, to, I probably went to bed about two 30 as well. Uh, yeah, we're right around there. But, yeah. It was like, yeah, we're on the same time. I left I left the stream a little bit earlier than you, but um, I was checking like the polls and stuff for the, uh, the multi Monday thing. And, uh, I just then, uh, I yeah, went to went to bed. Out. But yeah, yeah. It's seven seven thirty. I, I woke up because I had to pee really bad. I got up, went pee, and I'm like, I'm so <laughs> freaking tired. I went back to bed. Woke up at noon time. <laughs> An extra four hours in there. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> I don't want to say what I did today. Uh, I, just in case my work's watching. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> All right. That's why I like coming to hide out here because I know everybody that I know that knows my channel does not come over here. It's right. my hidey hole. Yeah, my, my channel, unfortunately, has been getting bounced around my workplace. It's like, All right. Nobody, right. Has, nobody yeah. knows at my job that I have a channel except for my my two both of my bosses and they're cool because i've had yeah, also, also took it, my stuff. place so was, things are cool yeah, right. well, one <laughs> one manager cool. one manager who likes to watch youtube reviews happened to see a video he was watching like some food review thing and he's like hey that looks like jesse <laughs> he goes what he's like damn it he comes into work that weekend he's like Hey, I didn't know I knew a YouTube star. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, Bumpy Road. I'm like, God 
Oh shit! And now and now I have a bunch of different managers coming up, call me Bumpy Road all the time, and it's like right. right. The door doesn't go back in the box; it only comes out. Yeah. That no man, like seriously, it's it happens. Yeah. Now I have to go back and like uh, I don't know every video I make, make sure I don't say the wrong things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't live like that. If they're going to come get me or somebody's going to find me and something's going to happen, it's going to happen. And that's life. Right. Destiny, in my opinion. So I'm glad to be here. I'm, I'm glad to be here. YouTube and be doing my own thing. I would have never met the beer man and I would have never met Bumpy and all these nice people that come through, like Cammy and uh, Sun yep. City, um, New yep. Jersey Scratcher, all those people. Man, welcome, guys. Thank you for being here, everyone. Everyone in the chat, thank you so much. Um, thank yeah. you, guys. Thank you, my my awesome loyal guests that uh, that showed up and, and 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 bought the cheese and the beer. And I I was on time and I did everything right, so I think we're all right. But um, <laughs> and Monday night, uh, Bumpy Road also has his uh, Malty Mondays, um, which I hope to be part of. I I'm, I'm hoping, um, but I'd love to. Uh, you know, once we figure out what beer is voted on. They, have, they do a little vote, um, and they, they vote on it, and then we all get the beer, and we go up there and uh, get on the panel and, uh, and taste. So, so uh, Thursday, Thursday, I'll drop a short, a very short video just saying what to bring for the next upcoming. Awesome. Awesome. So, so everybody cool. should know by Thursday if I try, I'm trying to keep the panel involved. That was in it last um, as far as once the voting's done on the poll. Um, which ends right after Wildcard Wednesday, which is on Ron Terrio's channel. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. So I, I, the poll is soft here. then, and then uh, I'll just take whatever the winning style is and then just kind of go over with my panel who, uh, like, what, what out of this style, what type of beer do you want? Right. Was it different? Out of this type of beer, what style do you I don't know. I might have that backwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you do it though, because I mean, I can personally find uh, everything that you like. If you give me a style, I can find it. It's Oregon. I mean, I can go to Portland if I have to go find it. You know, um, there's a shit ton of breweries out there. Uh, there's a lot of bottle shops around here. Not to rub it in with anyone that doesn't have bottle shops, but yeah. um, it I'm is. Offended. Funny. So yeah. I'm offended. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's get off this shit. And uh, and so I, and we'll we'll talk for a second, and then we'll uh, we'll bounce back up. I'll start another live stream, and we'll be having a lot of fun. Mama Soda V uh, V three family. Oh man, love you guys. Right on. We're gonna jump off. All right, cheers, guys. We'll see you on the next one for sure. See you nothing, nothing goes well with from under cheese. Fifteen minutes <laughs> <laughs> from under the cheese. All right, guys. Much love. Love you. Cheers. Cheers, everybody.